hope hope everything's good with you and i just want to say thank you again for following me and commenting on my page you know try to keep my page as clean as possible but i just want to say thank you and for that i had ordered your book and can't wait to get it tuesday wednesday should be in my mailbox and i'll definitely let you know looking forward to it thank you again appreciate it Hey, good morning. I just wanted to talk to you on the side and let you know that your book has helped me a lot. It's one of the reasons I kind of just stopped posting and just started really focusing on myself. And it's actually helping me. Um, I think early in your book, you were just talking about just cleansing your mind. And actually, I am been cleansing my mind. Um, just spending more time with my little one. Um, making better decisions with my eating. Definitely applying more fruits and vegetables adding smoothies as I can into my breakfast. So I just want to let you know, thank you again. And I'll definitely give you a review. Sorry for the delay, because I'm reading it twice. Sometimes I got to go back and then apply it. So thank you once again. Have a blessed day. Yes, and I just want to say again, too, is that even when I don't post, because I'm not going to be posting workout videos like I used to, I'm just taking a step back, just focusing more on myself. And actually, I've been working out like every day this whole week. I just like, yeah, I don't feel like posting. It's like, what's the difference? Just still want to go out there and pretend like, you know, social media is not there and not be distracted. So I still go work out regardless. Uh, my eating habits has changed, you know, putting more fruits and vegetables in my routine on a daily basis. Adding smoothies definitely helping me out. Um, yeah, and I just want to say thank you again. And shortly, you will get another review from me. Um, I don't want to hype it up, but it actually is good. I'm not going to lie. I just want to say again, um, thank you. Um, your book has helped me a lot. Especially when today's Monday, so meatless Monday. That's one thing I'm going to try and learn how to do is just not to, you know, rely on eating meat so much. Because I know how my body's been, been reacting. So your book has taught me a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, different from personal trainers and anybody who can tell me about, hey, what about eat this, eat that. But, you know, there's the Caribbean factor that comes in that, you know, hey, you got to listen to someone that's from the West Indies. They know what they're talking about. So <laughs> I got to give it to you. Um, thank you again, miss. I appreciate it. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten to send you um, a video regarding about the book. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm that with you. I was like, I know she knows it, but probably asking me how, how I use it. We were talking about Irish sea moss there. But yeah, I, I just like this morning, I just took a, uh, a spoon, put it in my mouth, start my day. But most times I just put it inside a smoothie or um, oatmeal or um, cream of wheat. So I won't really taste the difference. At the beginning, I was doing that because I didn't like the taste. It's just like with coffee. I didn't like coffee in the beginning because, you know, I was drinking it black, but then the benefits for it, for me, it helps me. So the same thing with sea moss, I just put it in um, smoothie. But since I'm not eating right now, since I'm fasting, so I'm actually doing it, um, just put it in my mouth and wait till 11 o'clock. Yeah, I've been fasting since October of 19. Um, 16 hours is usually my cutoff time. Well, all my start off time, I have to do these 16. There's times I have messed up, but for the most part, I fast like probably six days a week for 16, 18 hours. Especially when I work out, I can fast as long as 20 hours because I don't really eat anything in the morning. And most of my workouts is done by fasting. So yeah, 18 hours, 20 hours. But if I do feel depleted, I gotta go ahead and drink some electrolytes black coffee, whatever it is to keep my energy going. Yeah, as I get, I'm, as I'm getting older, I just said, I want to get more wiser. And again, just reading your book or just 
being knowledgeable and not always relying on food so I can feel good, just eating food so I can survive and gain energy. So I'm doing that transition right now, slowly, but it's gonna take me time. But as long as I continue to practice it, I'll get it. But yeah, right now I'm just stopping in between my workouts. Um, breathing a little hard, but I'll be alright. But thanks for um, taking me back. Yeah, and I just want to say again, um, very shortly, I will give you my full, honest review about your book. I've just been highlighting a lot and then applying it. And especially what I've been focusing on is, again, with just my eating habits. But I just want to say, you are nailing it. And the healthy um, the healthy path sex, um, chapter, I believe. And when you talk about CV and, you know, the cause of the death and I said that to um, very close friends of mine allowing the media not to give that information but if you look at the data it tells you you know behind what's actually the cause but like I said I'm just a regular person I don't know much but you being a professional in that field answer my question and thank you again just want to let you know and this is awesome yeah, because also I love it and I highlight just your food is your medicine and <laughs> medicine is your food. And when I look at your page again, just when you put out the dish, I'm mad about the ackee uh, and the ackee and saltfish. Uh, I'm sorry. If you ask me, I can eat that all day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner with Kalaloo. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can give up Jamaican food, West Indian food, you know, especially where you're from. But junk food, oh, please. I don't need that crap at all. And it's funny because after I finish working out and I just put in my workout, I'm like, I'm not going no fast food. I'm going to go to the supermarket and then make my food from scratch and, you know, have myself a meal. But this is what I let you know, but it's just want to give you an update. It's, it's awesome. But trust me, I'm going to find a way to, you know, shout you out. <clears throat> so stay tuned. That was a direct uh, audio recording that came from one of my re one of the readers of my book, and I wanted to share that with you. So remember, my book "Eat, Sleep, Meditate: A Nurse's Guide to Health" by Marva Riley, registered nurse. That's me. It's available on Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com. Walmart.com and also my website rnmarvariley.com. Be sure to pick up your copy today. Right now, there is a desperate healthcare crisis. There's a desperate health crisis around the world. And you know what? If you can learn how to take the best care of yourself, so that your immune system can be rock solid, so that you can enjoy your best health right now. As my sister would say, you too might have a fighting chance to fight it all and win. So I would like to show you and teach you how to take the best care of yourself. And I've outlined all of that in my easy to read, easy to understand, and easy to apply book, Eat, Sleep, Meditate, A Nurse's Guide to Health by Marva Riley. Be sure to pick up your copy today. You heard it from that gentleman. He's enjoying it. He's reading it more than once. He's highlighting it. He's learning a lot that is helping him to be successful on his health journey. And you too can learn something that will help you to succeed on your health journey. Pick up your copy today. It is so worth it. <music>